Hey Gemini, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazingly well, enjoying this holiday season. I hope you had a nice Christmas and you guys are spending time with loved ones, thing, those that you care about, um, special people in your life, or just spending the time just with yourself, right? Relaxing, manifesting for the new year that's coming up, 2021. We're going to see what's happening right now in your love life what's going on this is for um now right i mean honestly december january whatever it's timeless i'm just going to do a reading for you guys all right if it hits home please like share comment and subscribe it's general so it won't resonate with every gemini out there so what resonates leave the rest check out your moon rising and venus if you want a personal love reading okay the I need to make this straight okay um if you want a personal love reading check me out and vimeo has your bonus exclusive material for december how does your partner feel about you if you haven't checked that out go ahead it's timeless okay it's for december but it typically you know it can it can resonate in december it can resonate in january okay it can play out many many weeks later all right let's see gemini 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 what's up What's going on my Geminis out there? What do we need to know? What's going on right now? The end of December, going into early January 2021. Ooh, the world in reverse. So some of you guys, I hate to say it, but something ain't done, okay? Something is not done. A cycle has not closed, all right, Gemini? Some of you guys are dealing with a past person. Um, I'm getting like there could have been a lot of setbacks, a lot of challenges or misfortunes, things, you know, was not moving in the right direction. I'm getting some kind of karma here for some of you guys. Okay, let's see what's going on. Clear messages for, for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let's get some oh, one card at a time. Gemini, what's up? Getting unfinished business here. Yeah, the four of swords with the star in reverse. So yeah, whoever you're dealing with right now, Gemini, you guys are very quiet. You're distant. You're not talking. You're not speaking, okay? But I do feel like there's something here that has been left unsaid or unspoken. And I feel like your person is like holding your mouth, okay? We got the toad um, over the ace, over the sword, okay? The truth. Sword is typically about truth, clarity, communication. And this is someone who may have not told the truth about something, okay? And they may be holding back right now. I'm getting the energy of quiet, quiet withdrawn okay maybe they're very conflicted this time also could be you know the end of the year there's a lot of reflecting and that's what that four of swords energy is trying to find peace of mind okay maybe after some kind of conflict or there could have been um i'm getting a continuous row of conflicts or arguing between you guys over several months several weeks the stars in reverse here some of you guys are dealing with an aquarius but I feel like there was something here that you guys had hoped or wished or desired and it didn't come true with your person. They could have felt like they failed you. They could have felt like they let you down. Okay, with the star in the verse, this is someone who had those same desires, the same wishes. They looked at you as very special. You were very one of a kind. This connection was very um, unique. Okay, and I feel they may have certainly feel like there's something they passed you up or they, they, they made a bad decision here. Let's see. How do they view you, Gemini? The Nine of Pentacles, so, you know, this is someone you guys are definitely very distant from, and you may be very single, Gemini. You're acting right now, like, I mean, you guys may certainly have, I'm getting like, you got your mojo, okay? You got your mojo back. You're very independent. You're abundant. You're working on yourself, Gemini. You look very good. You are very stable and grounded. Give me another card here for the Nine of Pentacles. How does this person view Gemini? They may view you as being a little bit standoffish. Okay, you're very into yourself right now. I've got too many cards here. Okay. Uh, we have the judgment in the verse. So, yeah, they they know they've made a bad decision here. So, you know, you guys are very much single right now, but they know they passed you up. This is someone who made wrong decisions or bad decisions, a bad judgment call about the connection. They could have did something here was reckless with the world in the verse. They could have... Something here could have closed, I'm getting, or a cycle could have ended between you guys, but didn't close. That's a better way to send, uh, say it, okay? So this is something here where you guys may have separated, you may have gone different paths, but something, a cycle, I'm getting, has, has is not entirely finished here. 
What's a new person's emotions and feelings here, Gemini? Ooh, the Seven of Cups. This is someone who, I mean, the Nine of Cups. I'm sorry. Wow. So this is someone who realized that you are definitely someone that they really care about. There's a lot of wishing here. Okay, wishing, desiring with the star as well. I feel like this is someone who realized that you make them happy. There's a lot of happiness in these cups, fulfillment. Um, but this is someone who's also very overly emotional right now. This is in their heart space. They're very emotional right now. How do they see moving forward here with you, Gemini? The Ace of Cups in verse. So they don't know how to offer you love is what I'm seeing. This is someone who has love for you, but they may not feel like they have the ability to come toward you and make an offer here. Or you've fallen out of love with them. Or that that I'm getting like that ship has sailed, okay? They feel like that opportunity is no longer being presented to them. That new beginning and, and love. So what your person is dealing with behind the scenes is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone who lacks stability in their life. They may be going through some kind of financial problems, but they also come across as a knight. So this person maybe um, may not be in a most stable place, right? They may be feeling like compared to you, they're not in a good place. They may, may also be intimidated by you. This is someone who may have a lot of responsibilities, okay, right now. They may have a lot on their plate. I'm getting exhausted or just not on the most stable ground, okay? I'm going to have to clarify that. I'm also seeing that your person may not have been um, focused or they may have not been able to give you the commitment that they, they wanted to give you. We got the eight of wands in reverse. There's a lot of delays with this person, okay? This person is not communicating. They're very closed off, but they want to come charging in with that horse energy, but they haven't been able to. What is holding this person back, Gemini? What's going on? Let's see. Let's get the outcome, Let's, and I'm going to clarify too many cards here. What's going on? Gemini, what's the outcome? I feel like I need to do two readings for you guys because the cards are talking. I feel like these cards keep rushing out all at once. Let's get the outcome here for Gemini and their person. Let's take two. Four Pentacles, your person's holding back. See that squirrel energy? It's kind of like the, the squirrel is holding on to their nuts. This is someone who's like literally going, driving themselves crazy. They have something to tell you is what I'm seeing, okay? We got that um, four of swords are holding back, but they have some, they, there's communication for sure. They want to tell you something, but this is someone who doesn't feel like they have a chance with you, Gemini. The three of cups in verse, they feel like they can't reconcile with you. They feel like you be holding back or they feel like they have to hold back what they have to say. Hold back their feelings, emotions, or are on offer here. Because there's someone who feels like they don't have much to offer with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. But I feel like they want to come towards you, but they feel like you you wouldn't give them a time a day. Okay? They wouldn't be able to come towards you and um or really be able to accomplish whatever they want, okay, if they were to come towards you. So this is someone who chooses to hold back. The four of pentacles, you guys may be blocked. But that Four of Pentacles is holding back. It's kind of the energy of blocking, guarded. They can be very guarded right now. The bottom of the deck is the justice. It can be someone that you may have had a marriage with or a commitment with. But ultimately, I feel like a person wants to bring justice back to the situation, right? In the past, there could have been some really serious imbalances in the connection. They may have done you wrong. They may have mistreated you. There could have been um, some big uh, issues here with the Empress. But this is someone who views you as their, their one and only. There was a lot of nurturing and love here in the connection, but this person probably wasn't ready is what I'm seeing, Gemini, with the world in reverse. I feel like you guys have moved on from this person with your Nine of Pentacles energy, but I feel like you haven't forgotten them. And this is someone, again, they look at you like, you know, maybe as a missed opportunity, they made bad decisions, they didn't offer you much, may have been very stingy with their emotions, their love. Or just wasn't ready, okay? The Three of Cups, it could have been some thir a third party energy here as well. All right, what's up, the world? Why is the world card here for Gemini and a person? We got the Seven of Pentacles. So your person is doing a lot of reflecting. So that's what's keeping this cycle from closing. Because it's like when you think about a person over and over, you almost like bring them back into your life. So that's what's going on, Gemini. It's like the end of the year is here and your person can't get you out of their head. They're constantly thinking about you, what they've done in the past year, things that they may have said to you, things that they may have done that hurt you, um, things that they wish they'd done differently, right? With the judgment in the verse. So your person's definitely reflecting. A lot of Seven of Pentacles energy is thinking, thinking, um, it, it's taking stock of the past. So the end of the year, certainly the last few days of December, your person's now thinking of the things that they didn't do, that they wish they'd done, their investments in the connection in you. 
Now, why is the Four of Swords? They're not talking. They're not communicating. This is the energy of ghosting, silent. Um, but they feel like they missed an opportunity here with you. The Four of Cups, a lot of sadness, regrets, remorse, a little, um, you know, hopeless. They know they've rejected someone that they probably shouldn't have rejected. It could have been something here that they, they just weren't interested. They acted disinterested. Let's get another um, uh, another card for the Four of Cups here. Let's see. So the Three of Cups coming out. Definitely could be third party with the Six of Swords. Could have been a lot of conflict over a third party and they chose someone else. Why is the Four of Cups here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles flipped over. Ooh, we've got a lot of cards here. So, well, what I'm seeing is that your person sabotaged this connection, okay? The Seven of Swords, lies, cheating, deceiving behavior, right? They could have did something I'm um, getting to put themselves out in the cold. With the Five of Pentacles, this is someone who really misses you, Gemini. This is someone who is distant from you. They're not speaking. And I feel like, I don't know if the weather is bad. It was a lot of rain recently, but I feel like rainy days or... When it's gloomy or something out, they're thinking about you a lot more, okay? And they're going in that Four of Swords energy where they're very much in conflict with themselves. Um, but this is someone who may have jeopardized something for sure with you. The chariot in reverse, something came to a screeching halt or something stopped moving forward, perhaps because of cheating, because of being dishonest and lies that they may have told. And they're feeling that they want to get out of the cold here with you. So those are some additional messages for you guys, okay? Now, why is the star in reverse Aquarian energy? Why is the star here? This is someone who feels very hopeless. They may want to heal, but they feel hopeless because the chariot, again, came out in reverse. Because they know they, they've messed up here. They know they stopped. They know they caused some kind of ending here, right? And they can't just come back in your life, act like things, like nothing ever happened, right? They can't just pick up where things left off, but they want to, right? So I do feel like this is a, um, a situation where you guys may have moved on from this person, Gemini, they haven't really overcome it. They haven't really let go or released it from their energy. They're still thinking, reminiscing about you, wishing things were different. The chair in reverse, they can't seem to come towards you though. All right, so why is the judgment in reverse, the three of pentacles with the nine of pentacles? So your person, you know, you guys have maybe decided to be single with the nine of pentacles, by not by choice, but I'm getting this person may have chosen another person over you. The three of pentacles, they may have made a bad decision with the judgment in reverse and the three of pentacles. Someone made a bad decision here regarding a third party, or they made a bad decision that cost this connection, the three of pentacles. You guys are not able to get on the same page right now, not able to collaborate, not able to come together, move forward here and at nine of pentacles you guys have just chosen to work on yourself and i don't think this is something you really wanted but you had to so you guys are just picking up the pieces but your person definitely gemini have ruined an opportunity here with you okay that judgment reverse they, they've made poor reckless decisions why is the nine of cups here and their feelings and emotions the nine of cups gemini for your person Ooh, the eight of cups Eight of Cups, this is someone who has a lot of emotions here for you, a lot of feelings. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, all those cups are feelings, emotions, overwhelmed with their emotions for you. They could have certainly walked out on you, Gemini, right? Someone left. Someone's not happy. Whoever you're dealing with, they're not happy where things are right now between you, but also in their life in general. And I feel like the end of the year can bring up a lot of unresolved feelings here. Let's get one more card here for Gemini's person. Ooh, the five of swords yeah this is someone you you had to maybe walk away from because there was so much conflict okay this is someone you may have decided you know what i'm just gonna let this go it's a lose-lose situation it's not getting better um some of you guys you may have had to walk away they may have walked away regardless i feel like there was a lot of drama here all right and your person is definitely i'm getting overwhelmed or just emotional because of everything that has happened all right, so how do they see moving forward here with you? Ace of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys, if they are with a third party, they may be falling out of love with this person. Or they may be slowly realizing that they were never in love to begin with. That there was no love there. Could have been passion. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So some of you guys, they may have caused a betrayal, right? This deception. It could have been... Ten of Swords could be anything. But ultimately, I feel like someone got betrayed here. So your person may feel like there's a... There's an obstacle in coming back in your life because of their behavior, because of the betrayal that they caused you. They may have caused you to hit rock bottom. They feel like you hate them. Some of you guys, Gemini. 
<laughs> they feel like you hate them because of what they've done or you don't you no longer look at them the same way in that loving nurturing caring manner right you never you don't look at them as someone that you are still in love with because of the hurt they they've, they've caused you all right let's see why is the knight of pentacles in reverse this is someone who lacks stability in their life. Um, wow. But they do love you. This is someone who has a lot of love in their heart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is someone who also could struggle with their emotions, okay? Expressing their emotions or telling you how they really truly feel. It's like they feel it, but when it actually comes to showing you, it's like they, they do a horrible job. Eight of Swords, yeah. And this is someone who's definitely having a difficult time overcoming something here regarding their love for you. This is someone who didn't bring you the stability or may have um, cost the stability of the connection here. But they're thinking a lot. They're thinking they're all in their emotions right now, okay? Um, they're, they're having a difficult time and really truly moving forward. Having a difficult time sleeping at night. Knowing that they have feelings for you, but they never acted on it here with the Knight of Pentacles in verse. They never took real action towards you. Or they may have taken the wrong action, right? The judgment in reverse. They may have gone a different path. Why is the eight of wands in reverse? This is someone who wants to communicate. Yeah, five of pentacles came out. Seven of swords and five of pentacles. So, again, they're, they're having a difficult time communicating because they know they deceived you. Um, again, feeling left out in the cold. It wanted to come out again. Is basically saying that your person really, they want to communicate, but they don't know how to. And so, unfortunately, right now, they're literally just, they're just staying alone in their own little bubble in solitude. All right? They're not able to take real action towards you. There's a lot of delays and misfortunes with this person or misfortunes in their life. Um, but ultimately, this is someone who cannot put their put their panties on or their grown man pants on, okay, to come towards you, okay, because of the recent events. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, some of you guys, they may have betrayed you or they may have, um, they may have had this beautiful, loving relationship with you, may have had children, family, and everything, and they destroyed it because they cheated. They, they, they deceived you or they, they got someone else involved, okay? We got three people here. Hey, that's what I'm saying. So, third party three of cups is also here they could have been a third party they they got in the middle of the connection of this family situation here and they're regretting it let's see why is the four of pentacles with the three of cups in reverse some of you guys they are holding back they may have not reached out maybe very stingy with them with their emotions and feelings right now because of a third party let's see but also because they don't know how to reconcile with you. This is someone who, Gemini, you're standing in your king of swords energy. Male or female, doesn't matter. But ultimately, you want the truth. You want clarity. You guys are also thinking with your head, not with your emotions, not with your heart space. So this person knows they have to come correct. And this is someone knows that they're, they're going to have a difficult time coming to you and reconciling or, or resolving a matter here. They know they did you dirty or, or they did you wrong in the past. And so they know that they can't just come in that easily. So they may be holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Let's see. Any last messages here for Gemini? Yeah, the death. Your person wants a new beginning here. They're wanting to, to end this endless row of arguing, of fighting, tension, drama. This is like I, this is someone who does not want to go into 2021 with you um, as an enemy, with you hating them. So this is someone who's like, well, hell, I need to just make things right. I just want to reconcile. I just want to be on a good page with my Gemini. Why is the Justice card here? Libra energy. Some of you guys are dealing with the Libra. We got Scorpio as well. Page of Pentacles. Your person wants to reach out. They're wanting to send you a text, send you a letter. Um, some of you guys, they may have even, I don't know, maybe sent you a little gift for Christmas. But this is someone who wants to start off things right. They may be manifesting. They may be writing some things down that they want to tell you before the new year. But this is someone who wants to make it right, wants to bring balance back to the situation where there isn't any. All right? Gemini, so they're wanting an ending, right? But they're, they've been holding back for far too long. The Four of Pentacles may also be very intimidated by you with this King of Swords. I'm just saying, all right? Gemini, 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 if this hits home, if it resonates, please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. Link is in the description box. And Vimeo has your bonus exclusive material. Um, December is still up, all right? So check out How Does Your Person Feel, what's on their mind, 
the feelings, emotions, the heart space. How do they view you? How do they see moving forward? What's going on behind the scenes? Roadblocks, challenging energy that's getting in the way of the connection and the outcome. And Gemini, um, it is timeless, of course. So it can resonate now. It can resonate later. It could have recently just happened. And so, um, yeah, check that out. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care and stay safe.